how are you? Today we are at Ichabod's Lounge. This lounge is a throwback to the 80s because guess what, it's been here since the 80s. And it's, um, they kind of boast that they're like old vintage Vegas type feel, type vibe. Yes, that is correct. They've got this bar in the center um, that is like a really big bar really huge bar actually and there's chandeliers on the ends the bar looks pretty fancy there is gaming so people are gaming and um, that's in the very middle of the lounge all around the lounge are small tables and booths and things like water sculptures there's a lot of water sculptures and water hunter running and um, aquariums and things like that and Lots of vintage pictures on the walls. There's all kinds of like vintage -y... There's a picture of Foster Brooks up there. Foster Brooks. Check them out. So anyway, um, this is the lounge part. There's also a dining area. In the dining area, it is smoke-free, no gaming. And um, the people going in there kind of looked fancy. Like they were dressed up like for a Sunday. It's Sunday. So maybe Sunday's a good day to go to Ichabod's Lounge, but go to the dining area where there's no smoking and there's um, a little bit more dressy type. We're in t-shirts and stuff. I'd, I'd like to point out that until you pointed out that you could see a woman smoking over there, I thought this, this was not smoking because so it doesn't smell smoky. It doesn't smell smoky. It doesn't smell smoky. I oh. thought it said online that it was not smoking, but they are smoking in the bar area. Probably because you can gamble. Usually if you can gamble, you can smoke. I don't know. Anyway, side point. Cool place so far. Okay, so in the, the dining room area, um, very classy, very elegant. Chandeliers and um, fancy tables, and um, which is really pretty. Really, really pretty. And of course, it's in the strip mall, but guess what? In Vegas, everything's in a strip mall. I know that sounds strange, but lots of things are in a strip malls. This is kind of how it's set up here in Las Vegas. So, would you agree? Most things are in strip malls. I haven't really thought about it, but I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. in Vegas, everything's set up in strip malls. So, for the most part, except like standalone restaurants that are usually chains, like um, your chain restaurants, Chili's, Applebee's, Olive Garden, those kind of things, anything that's local is probably going to be in a strip mall in a just kind of hidden off the area, off, off the side street type area, which is cool. So please enjoy this 1980s era 
Uh, I think it was open in 1987. Um, enjoy uh, a meal here with us. We've ordered a lot of things and we're going to start with appetizers. So let's check out the appetizers. Appetizers are pretzel bites, baked, and um, we got some soups to try. A chili and the soup of the day, which is the tortilla chicken soup. Let's give them a shot. Appetizers on their way. Before we get too far in this video, I would like to go ahead and ask you if you've watched our video before, or if this is your first time watching and you kind of like content like this, or are going to some vintage Vegas places, could you please hit that subscribe button? You can also like the video, of course, if you like it, you can comment. But uh, if you could subscribe, so that way you know when our videos are coming up, like they'll pop up for you to see more often that uh, we're doing fun videos around Vegas. So anyway, thank you so much. Back to the video. Okay, so we have received our soups and some pretzel bites. I'm gonna show the pretzel bites first because I can't actually take a bite of the soup yet. It is so hot. So these are the pretzel bites. It comes with a big bowl of cheese and some celery and carrots, which is totally weird to me, but that's okay. It's a fine, it's not a problem. Um, Oh, the pretzel bites look just like I like them. My big concern is when they deep fry them, they get real hard. They could be almost burnt tasting. I think we're going to like these. These look like um, they're soft, and, but they're very warm. And they've got a perfect amount of salt it looks on them. Let's see what we feel about this. this is definitely the way I like them. Pretzel bites are comfort food, I think, for me. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm a little worried about doing this with you holding this. Mm -hmm. Because when you set the camera up, you've got not camera on it over. I set the camera up to do precarious. her vlog, and immediately it fell over. It, my phone fell into Mapster, so no, no damage to it, I don't think, so hopefully. What do you think? I think it's better than when they're deep fried and it's like they're hard. So I like a real soft pretzel like this. The cheese sauce is basic. Just above room temperature. Yeah, it's not really hot enough probably. The but cheese, I like that these are deep fried. I do too. So I would say warm on the cheese, maybe a little spice to it, but um, the clientele here is an uber crowd for sure. Like and, which, like us, like us, that's probably where we're going to love it. Oh, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, um, no spice to the cheese or anything. I could use a little more, more like, it says it's beer cheese. But it just tastes like cheese cheese. Okay, it's soup time. Matt, what do you think about, oh, Matt got the chili. Does it say anything special about I the feel, chili? I feel weird calling chili soup. Mmm. This chili soup... Chili's chili. chili. Unless it's a really soupy chili. Please put the answer to this question in the comments. Is chili soup? It's kind of like asking, is a hot dog a sandwich? It's got the it's got the components of being soup. It's a soupy type thing, but Whatever. We've been married almost 25 years, and the entire time we've referred to chili as a soup, so I should probably just get over it. That's right, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to try to also eat this tortilla chili. It's tortilla soup. It was too hot before, I'm going to give it another try. It came with, um, like, little tortilla strips or whatever to put on top. You tell me about the chili, I'll tell about this one. Mine has um, vegetables in it, like um, corn, and I think there's some peppers in there, and um, I like this. I like tortilla soup. Um, I think this, this is good. I would get this again. And this is a special soup of the day. Now, how's the chili? I like it. It's not real spicy. It's a little bit of 
with spice, but not much. Um, it's not super thick, which I kind of like. But I also like chili with super thick. I just I like chili. Mm -hmm. It does have beans. I've seen at least one bean. There's not very many beans. It's got real big chunks of, of tomato. Mmm, that is the chunk. Um, so it's got a lot of that. Um, but I like it so far. I really like that they have actual soup spoons. I like that too. That's a big pet beautiful. Yes. Big soup fan. Um, also, I want to add, uh, they gave me three things of crackers. Usually, three months. usually you get two. Generally, sometimes they just give you one. You know, they but it's three. the 80s here. We're in the 80s. So in the 80s, things were like given away more as opposed to, oh, you can have one, and then you have to pay 20 cents more or something, like nickel and dime and everything. This is the 80s, Matt. Everyone's, you have as many crackers as you want. Everyone's snorting cocaine. You get all the crackers they want. It's crazy. It's awesome. And now our entrees have arrived. Um, I got the pot roast. It was $20, and the pot roast comes with gravy and mashed potatoes, I guess with gravy as well and um, mixed vegetables. It's broccoli and squash and beans. They look pretty good. How about you, Matt? Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, too. <laughs> What'd you get? I got the hot turkey. I was going to get the hot beef. Um, but then I saw that the hot turkey has the cranberry relish. Or mm. quick, no, cranberry dressing? Or cranberry... Cranberry something. And it's uh, sliced turkey on white bread that's served open faced with gravy all over. It's got mashed potatoes with gravy and the uh, cranberry sauce. Yep. Both plates are garnished, kind of maybe sprinkled some, looks like maybe dried parsley. Mm -hmm. It looks very, I think it looks like very 80s. It's so 80s. Um, this plate is screaming 80s with the mixed vegetables and the mashed potatoes with all the gravy just kind of like gravy on everything for both of us hot roast well the things that we ordered hot roast and uh hot those are gravy based on things. that's true um another thing that i'd like to bring up actually um two things um, every night from 6.30 to midnight. Oh, this place is open 24 hours. Every night from 6.30, I think, to midnight, but at least at 6.30, they have live music. What kind of music? I don't know. We can see if we can find something online, like on YouTube or something, because we haven't been here for that. When the waitress comes back, you can ask. Hmm. I'll ask her. The second thing that I want to bring up is how friendly everybody here is. This is a very casual place. When I, in Indiana, when I went to MCL, I felt real comfortable and cozy. I felt like, um, you know, like I belong there, get food, relaxing. And um, that's kind of how I feel here. Even though it's a sit-down restaurant and they've got an even fancier area that's not in this lounge area, I feel real comfortable here. And the music is great. We're going to have to cover it up. But uh, the music is nice and relaxing. It's kind of 80s type music too, I guess. I like it. I think I want to get a dessert. Is that okay? Okay, awesome. Hang on for dessert. Okay, so I splurged. And I got... But we didn't get a drink here. So I felt like I didn't get like an alcoholic beverage. Which they're usually like 20 bucks because I want a mixed drink. Skipped that. I got dessert instead. I got a iced latte with two espresso shots in it. I should be up for a couple, a couple days with that. And I got the apple pie. I'll, and I did not get it with ice cream on it. It does come with a little whipped cream on it, but I got that just apple pie straight up no ice cream because I figured I'm having all this cream in my drink and I don't need any, any more of that. So. Anyway, it looks like this, and I'll tell you, it smells like cinnamon. Like, really, can you smell the cinnamon? 
It smells like more like cinnamon than apples. Anyway, time for a bite. Guess what I don't have. How about you use a spoon? Okay. There's a fork on your plate over there. Uh, I'm not using my little cup. Question you for you. Other table? No, that's fine. Question. Fork or spoon for eating desserts like this? Fork or spoon? I say fork. I don't have a fork, so I'm going to use a spoon. I'm sure I'll survive. But please put in the comments. There's forks right there. I can just steal them. Apple pie. Now, do they make it here? No. Do they warm it up here? Yes. And I asked that beforehand, so I knew before I ordered it. Let's see how it stacks up. It'd be really weird if they went somewhere else to warm it up. Like next door. It's like the dog grooming place over there. No, they don't warm it up. Like they don't have a microwave. We make it here. We don't warm it up here. That would be weird. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Huge chunks of apple. However, I rarely get dessert. I'm really glad I got this one. I couldn't choose between this and key lime pie. And I was just like, I'm just going to go for apple pie. I haven't had that in a while. And, um, yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is really good. She said she put some Irish cream in it. But it's just a flavoring, not like the alcoholic beverage Irish cream. It's just like a... You think? You'll know when you get yes. the milk. I know. I will know. But she said, would you like some ice cream in it? Flavoring? I was like, okay, so who knows? I don't know, but I guess we'll see. Thank you so much for coming along with us again on Hungry Vegas. I would like to apologize for being so close to the camera. However, music is kind of loud where we are, so we wanted to be as close as we could to the um, camera, so that way um, we can cover up the sound maybe better and you can still hear our voices. So thanks for dealing with us being like super up close and personal. We hope you enjoyed this trip to Ichabod's Lounge. People here are awesome, super clean. The ambiance is great. You can choose if you want to eat in a fancy dining room, if you want to sit here in the lounge, if you want to sit at the bar and gamble. It's got everything for you. I, I do want to point out, I do find it a little unsettling that fellow that's sitting at the bar, the one that doesn't have a head, he has like a pumpkin under his arm. Yeah, that guy's weird. That guy is really weird. But I, I think he's here all the time. I don't know. All right, thanks for coming along to Ichabod's with us. I'm Hungry Vegas. We'll see you next time. Bye.